Hello. Hello, welcome back to Crafty Leaks. Today we've got a scroll box. Woohoo! I hope you like the new thing we're recording in. Yes. And okay. I'm not going to show my hands much because I've still got dye on them from the other day. Which, if you watched my last video, you know why. <laughs> what have we got inside? Ooh, it's a crawler. It's called Crawler. It's crawler. <laughs> she missed out, like. <laughs> There's some cotton there. Ooh, 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 paints, pencils, graphite. That's pretty. We've got a natural rubber eraser. Cool. Does that mean it gets rid of rubbers? Like rubber eraser bit. Liquid pencil. Ah, oh, just so like liquid I've seen graphite. Before, yeah. I think oh, we've seen them before. I've seen them somewhere before. We've got in blue. blue. The other one was yellow just now. And grey. Cool. Grey nine to be specific, and they're all twelve milliliters. And then we got a sketching. Doing scratching, scratching. Water soluble one by the looks of it. And medium wash, four B. Cool. So yeah, it's water soluble. And. Same one, but in A to B. Dark oh, wash. Dark wash. You can usually tell by the end because the wood mm. usually is a lot more rigid with watercolours, I've noticed. I know, yeah. It's like they've desaturated it or something, I don't know. And then we've got a brush. From Scrawler Box. Ooh, Ooh the Posh Scrawler Box. 10. Size flat. 10. Oh, okay, that, flat. You need to unsticky that. Mm -hmm. Which way was it on just now? That way? Is it that way? No. Okay, we're going to come back to that. <laughs> And sweet. Bom, bom. I think that's a mint on the looks of it. You can probably have that. And then into the stuff underneath. This. Ooh. Ooh. Acryl etival. Etival. Watercolor. It's going to be too French. A5. Eight sheets. Have a little feel. Oh. That's nice. We have this in um, a guess, crate, guess the weight. this particular brand. Guess the but... weight. 175. Oh, goodness me. This is the art, which I really like. It's oh, really wow. good. Oh, wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I want to go a bit closer. Look at, look at it. Oh, my God. This is the artist. Pause that um, if you want to read. And this is where you can find them. I don't like shine on it. There I know I tilted it so it wouldn't be. And then okay. the zine. We'll go to that in a second. Okay. We'll go to this first. Yep, wrong side. July. July. Box. The Colours. tubes, re wettable. Scroll or discount. Cool. For the pencil stuff. Water soluble sketching pencils. Scroll box, flat synthetic brush, size 10, Koei Noir, combined eraser, the, the watercolour pad, um, and the challenge what's... is Mother Nature. Oh, yay, I like Mother Nature. Sorry if this feels a bit rushed, we just want to do them a bit quicker. I don't know. Yeah. And then let's have a look at this scroller zine. 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 I think it's like Probably magazine, zine, yeah. Isn't it? but... okay. Is everything that's in there? Colour combo, try and mix in the blue and yellow to make a green and expand your colour palette. Well, you get it. Double ended, designed for ink, but it does a great job removing any stubborn areas of these graphite paints. Ah. Yeah, that's what the grey bit is. Do you remember you used to have them and it used to um, rub out biro sometimes? Honestly, I, I think it was just conspiracy. Every child thought that, but then it's like, no, that's not what they thought. <laughs> that's just a lie. Sit down with the featured artist. We're not gonna like stop here because we want you to like. We don't want to share everything no. because like. In case you're waiting for your own box. Very good. And this is everything we got in the box, and I can't wait to have a go at swatching these. I'm doing some art. It looks really nice. It does all look together. fun, doesn't it? And I'm interested to try these new paints made in Australia. That's nice. Ooh, I really like. You seemed very confused when I said that. No, I'm. I'm thinking of what I'm going to um, paint. I really am. Mother Nature. Yeah, I know. And you've got Our yellow, blue, was... and grey. Last painting was trees and stuff. 
but there's nothing to say I can't do it again. So we've basically got yellow, blue, grey and green. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. So it's going to be quite limited, but if they can make stuff out of it, hopefully we can too. But they probably make something better. Oh yeah, it's upside down. Isn't it? But they'll probably make the best thing out of it. <laughs> Again, if you want to find them, really like it. that's where you can find them. So now we'll get on. What's that bottom one? Behance. What's that? I have no idea. We'll Google it later. Yeah. So we'll get on with the painting. So I've done my drawing and how I see Mother Nature. Sorry about the poor lighting. Uh, hopefully it'll improve. And this is mine. I've got both my wrists are really bad right now. I don't know why. This one's got support on it only because I can only put support on one. So I'm not going to have the greatest result in the world. So if it turns bad, just know that I've got like really bad wrists. So at least we'll have a chance of trying out the special bits, which are... Oh, and the other thing is I've had to try and get a paintbrush of my own, similar to the same size. So that, similar. Uh, so yeah, we get on with doing a bit of that. So these are the colours in the pan and they pretty much all look the same. This is the only one that really stands out and these ones are a bit darker than this one. It's kind of hard to go, which one haven't I put down yet? Yeah, so what I had to do was just pull it up along the side and then you can just see a little bit of a difference. But right, do you want to see us use it? Let's use some of the blue. Right. It's going to be a lot less mother nature -y than we thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not the ideal colours, are they? If you live in a city. I suppose. But then it's kind of morbid. <clears throat> right, um, let's have a look at what you're going to do first. I don't know what I'm going to do first. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, don't forget we've also got the like... pencils. Really Which I can see then is going to go down a little bit. Nice even grace. It doesn't carry with water very well. Like when I'm painting, I have to keep putting lots of water on, and then it doesn't smudge out very well. Yeah, I'm just, I watered mine down before doing it because I want it very pale, so. I mean, they're quite nice. But they're not really, like, you could have just done with just the grey or something. Yeah, it would have been nice if they'd have had more, I suppose you can't get more vibrant. No, but, like, they could have given us different paints to work with it. Yeah, maybe along with it, isn't it? That's what I just said. Yeah. Right, so... I've actually quite enjoy using it. It does go on quite nice, but my down thing is nice, yeah. no. But the size of the brush to the size of the paper that they've given us, eh, <laughs> it's quite hard. I'm finding. I mean, this isn't the actual brush. How's the brush with you? I don't know. It just it's like a nice brush, but I don't think it's perfect for what it's doing. Yeah. Like I think it was supposed to be more abstract, but then they could have given us a detail brush as well. Yeah, it would have been know. nice, wouldn't it? Or they could have not given the prompt to Mother Nature and just gave nature. Yeah, that's true. So there was like, you know, more interpretation. Okay, a date on the picture. It's difficult. Don't do detail. If you get this set and you're only going to use the brushes and obviously these do not go into small details it's it's very mucky as well it uh, is when it lifts up it le like you can see here there's like it's like watercolors it doesn't really lift up if you really tried it might but it's like eating out the paper and it doesn't sit well it doesn't lay well it's like i just don't like it no it look, looks so mucky i think it'd be like it's, you were saying we're on a really big piece and as a wash and you know working with other things yeah like, and this is only a small bit maybe but i don't like it on its own like this so. oh, no she's not happy are you happy not really i'm almost done i'm looking really good now i think you've saved it i don't know yeah it's like i like it but i also don't like it on the camera but it's really good thank you i think i'm 
basically done. Probably only a few more hairs. But yeah, I've used everything. <laughs> I haven't used pencils yet. After a while of using it, it's like you get used to them. But they're still not my favourite. No. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean, darling. I do. The paper warped a lot though, like you can see. You'd expect it to be able to hold water a bit better, considering yeah. that's specifically what it was for. Yeah, you can see this one. And it dipped in the same place with both of us, mm -hmm. even though you put a lot more water on the sides here. And the thing is, we don't put, we didn't put too much water, not like with paint, where you yeah. put a lot of water in. I put like a light wash, and that was it. And I didn't even put anything like here. So, and yeah. Like, all oh, here was hardly anything. It's just dipping, and I don't know why. So, again, if you get it, it might be worth taping it down. Or canvas. Yeah. And here they are, the finished pieces. Ooh, that's mine. And Rian's. And mine. <laughs> Sorry. Chuck all your pieces. Yeah, then. so using these pieces. Oh. oh, these pieces. Using these supplies. Oh, I didn't try the rubber on the graphite. No, I haven't either. But who knows? Yes. So here's mine. It's Mother Nature with horns that are supposed to be trees, but they look more like the horns. Yeah. So yeah, there's trees there, some flowers, a little um, pond, with some mountains, a wolf. Yeah. So you got all much in all, more color than I did. That is my picture. You got much more color than I did. Did you? Did I? Did you? Did I? Not really, except for the greens. I mean, and the blue. Yeah. But that's just, I suppose. But yeah, that's my. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Tried to make it green skin, but then that didn't really work. Your green one is a bit more vibrant, but I don't know. I think it looks really good. It does look very earthy and naturey, to be honest, to me. And that's what I suppose earthy and naturey is, isn't it? So yeah, it's lovely. Nice. With the little flowers in the hair and leaves. yeah, the overall effect. The leaves. Yeah, the leaves. Yeah. And flowers, yeah. But twigs. <laughs> twigs. Oh, yeah, I noticed the twigs. Oh, yeah, I can see them now. But overall... What do you think they were? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was just seeing it as an overall picture. I wasn't sort of going into the little details. What's this, then? I was supposed to be just like a tribally marking sort of thing. I just thought we'd give it a bit more sort of Mother Earthy. The thing about these paints is that they do glare a bit. Yeah, they do. Well, and the pencil does as well, doesn't it? Well, so yeah, really... pencils do. I like the paint glares. And also we noticed it smelt a bit clay. Yeah, so I don't know whether it's got like a clay base. So I don't know. But it... Like proper like earthy clay because like we've got clay in the garden, like mm -hmm. in the grass and stuff. So if it gets overly wet, sometimes you smell it or when I used to do some pottery and stuff, that's exactly how it would smell. Yeah. And we noticed like little wafts. It's like it's like when as soon like as clay yeah wet. as soon as you said what it smelled like clay i thought that's what it smelled <laughs> like because i was thinking plasticine i thought no not plasticine so it's more the clay smell so yeah what i noticed though that helped a bit with getting darkness was wetting the pencil a bit so you could have maybe done that if you wanted it a bit darker in certain yeah. places but yeah then it also like sometimes it would wash it out though because it'd pick it up like watercolors that's like why i like acrylics or like watercolor palettes Otherwise, it picks up. Yeah, I know. What and you... it's like you can't layer it because when you put more water on, it picks up. Yeah, it's like I said, I probably wouldn't go out and buy a load, but I, you know, I'd be tempted if there was a different colour just to try it. it. I would also, like I said, I you will use the rest of it. Yeah, I will definitely we'll use them. Again. Well, I don't think so. Not unless we find a really good use, or we might try them again one day and go, "Wow, these are great!" But they're like a bit of a shock to the system, aren't they? <laughs> they were like. <laughs> How do we use these? So, yeah. So, if you've had the box, let us know what you thought of them and how you used them. So, yeah. Well, anyway, we hope you enjoyed watching us create. And we tried a different, little bit of a different way of filming. I so, like we'll, um, we didn't really do that. We did a little bit. We, didn't. we did. We did. We did. We didn't. Okay, we did. Hope you liked the box. If you have the box, share with us what you did. Yeah. We'd um, like to see. We'll see you next time on Crafty Leaks. Bye. Bye.